welcome you to Nigerian Army Headquarters Conference Room, venue for this important press briefing. This is a press briefing on the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General T.Y. Boratay's meeting with the principal sub officers, general officers commanding Nigerian Army divisions and field commanders held today at this conference room. Today, Monday, the 26th of October, 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, the Chief of Army, Sir Lieutenant General Tukuru Suburate, has just finished an important meeting with his principal staff officers, general officers commanding, and field commanders this morning here at the Army Headquarters Conference Room. At the meeting, the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tukuru Suburate, made it unambiguously clear to the PSOs, GOCs, and field commanders that there will be no room for disloyalty amongst all officers and soldiers of the Nigerian Army. He directed that they, PSOs, GOCs, and field commanders, must reiterate to all their subordinates that the Nigerian army is determined to ensure democratic stability in Nigeria as the only fantasy for development and progress. General Burate also said the best system of governance is democracy, and we must all ensure that Nigeria's democracy remains stable and steady. We will not allow any force, elements, or destabilizing agents in or outside our country to set our beloved country on fire. We remain resolute in doing everything possible to ensure the subversive elements, detractors, and other enemies of this great nation do not have their aims and objectives of destabilization. General Burate further drew the attention of all the participants at the meeting that the event of the first few days in our dear nation have shown the determination of some unscrupulous individuals and groups to destabilize Nigeria by all means. These same unscrupulous individuals and uh, individuals group and other undesirable elements have hijacked the peaceful and such protest marches, resulting to widespread violence, acts of wanton destruction, and looting of public and private properties in many parts of the country. These acts led to the imposition of curfew in several states of the uh, Federation, he stated. He also said that Right from the onset of NSAS protests, the Nigerian army has been aware of the grand design by the sponsors of the protests to draw it into the crisis. The plan was to embark on massive propaganda to discredit the military and the government so as to set the people against the Nigerian army once it is called out to aid the civil authorities. The Nigerian army being aware of the devilish plan, was careful not to be dragged in and issued the initial warning through a press release on 14 October 2020 of our resolve to secure and safeguard a united Nigeria. Now the detractors, alongside their local and international collaborators, have mischievously and deliberately misrepresented troops' effort to ensure compliance with the curfew imposed by legitimate civil authorities in Lagos and other states. These agitators are falsely accusing the Nigerian army of being responsible for the activities of miscreants, despite 
glaring evidence to the contrary. They have continually threatened to report the Nigerian army to International Criminal Court and also threatened various forms of sanction against personnel and their families. Thankfully, however, a large percentage of Nigerians and international community have started seeing through the smoke screen of falsehood and deliberate misrepresentation of facts being orchestrated by enemies of Nigeria and have retracted their earlier false publications. The distinguished members of the press, the chief of army staff during the meeting also said, despite all this, the Nigerian army has continued to exercise restraint, applied all the principles of internal security operations, and fully abided by the internationally recognized rules of engagement as contained in our published standard operating procedures for internal security operations, which are derived from the international human rights laws and are in accordance with the international principles guiding the use of force. He used the opportunity to re-emphasize that none of the PSOs, GOCs, field commanders, and other officers and soldiers of the Nigerian army should be afraid of the International Criminal Court for carrying out their legitimate duties as stated in the, 1990, in the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended, and other extant laws rules and regulations of Nigeria. He further averred that they have every right under the constitution to carry out assigned legitimate roles of maintaining law and order in aid of civil authorities and other security agencies. He reiterated that anyone who doubts the commitment of the PSOs, GOCs and field commanders Uh, anyone who doubt, he reiterated that anyone who doubts the commitment of the PSO, GOCs, and field commanders is their constitutional responsibilities must be made to know that they remain committed, loyal, and unwavering in ensuring the unity, stability, and the security of our dear country, Nigeria. He charged them to show the detractors and other elements of destabilization that they are neither a part of them nor in any way supportive of their activities at all times. He directed that any act of arson or attempt to kill or maim any military or security personnel and other law-abiding civilians must be responded to quickly and decisively. According to him, in dealing with any security threat, they must fully cooperate with personnel of the Nigerian police force and other security agencies and must ensure that everyone is in full compliance with imposed curfews and other excellent security instructions imposed. General Brote further alerted the PSOs, GOCs, and field commanders that the recent activities by unscrupulous element have shown their desire to acquire arms and ammunition at all costs from security personnel. No less than 10 AK-47 rifles have been lost to this miscreant in the past two weeks across the country with attendant loss of lives of personnel. He charged commanders to nip in the board this emerging trend at all costs and directed them to warn their troops on internal security or on guard duties outside the barracks to be at maximum alert at all times and to also deal decisively with any attack on their duty locations. Lieutenant General Burate concluded that there is no choice between a democratically united, strong and prosperous, uh, prosperous Nigeria and a nation disunited, disunited in a state of anarchy and retrogression. We must all strive for a united, strong, stable and progressive Nigeria. At the end of the meeting, the PSOs, GOCs, and field commanders 
resolve to a remain loyal to the federal government of Nigeria under President Muhammadu Buhari. B ensure the unity and indivisibility of our country. C assist the federal government to bring to an end uh, to bring an end to insecurity across the country and to prevent miscreants and criminals from hijacking NSAS protests nationwide. D, remain focused not to be deterred by any local or international threats. O, E, all commanders have been directed to intensify joint training with the Nigerian police and other sister security agencies to enhance interagency collaboration and cooperation. Finally, I wish to extend the appreciation and best regards of the Chief of Army Staff. You are please requested to give this maximum publicity. Thank you for your attention and safe journey back to your various destinations. Sagir Musa, Colonel Acting Director, Army for Regulation. Thank you.